Let's hope this works. Fingers crossed. Are you there, Courtney? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? You should be. Right. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. My eye works. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so good. So good to see you again. It's so good to see you. Why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Okay. So I work for Family Search. I oversee our product marketing there. Um, so for those are familiar, that means we work with all the product experience teams. And so our team's the liaison between the experience group, the product group, and marketing. And then okay. we, we try and understand what the user patron needs and motivations are and connect them with the right experience through marketing. So we collaborate with all the different groups. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. I've been to Family Search for almost eight years now which is crazy. It goes so fast. Um, I've right. loved, worked on many projects and it's great to be there right now. It's so fun. Oh, that is so fun. I am jealous that you get to work in family search. I bet you have lots of fun experiments that happen. Yeah, we get to see behind the scenes what's coming. So our team actually lets people know when new things are released. Oh, fun. So we get what's coming and figure out how to prepare to let people know about the new experiences, the updates. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, how fun. That's exciting. So how did you get into genealogy and family search? Oh man, that's like a lifelong journey, different parts of my life. Um, family history means different things to me, but I started getting into family history from a really young age. My grandfather, Society of Utah. Um, so he was really into family history. He got me involved from a really young age. And then oh, I went to BYU Idaho and got involved there. Yeah, love that school. Uh -huh. Got involved there. Um, and then I graduated from business marketing. So I had both family history, marketing background. So it just was a great fit into family search. And it's just it's been such a yeah, great opportunity. Wow, that's awesome. I you Idaho right now online. And you are? I'm supposed to, yeah, I'm supposed to graduate in December with an associate in family history. So I'm excited. I think I certification through the BYU Idaho online program, the family history certification. When that first came out, they did yeah. a program family search and I did that. So I think I did a similar program. So that's awesome. Fun. Good yeah, for you. I'm excited. I've been learning a lot, so it's been a really good program to go through. That's so good. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so um, I think first you wanted to tell us about Discovery, right? Was that what you wanted to talk yeah. about? I have been so inspired by what this group is doing, the Connections Experiment, and yes. my own really cool Discovery experience a week or two ago, it all blurs together these days. Um, yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah, so I've been so inspired with this group and how it came together just so quickly and all the work that you're doing to make this happen and to hear the experiences that people are sharing. It's so inspiring. So I was inspired to go back and go through some family stories and photos myself. And I love the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm kind of obsessed. So I went there a few times this year just for work and fun. And yeah. I have family from that area for generations. So my dad's side of the family is from there for many generations. And so for fun, I went and read about their stories and their Of my grandpa and his mom at the oh, beach so in the San Francisco Bay, and I just love it so much. It's just, just so fun. Okay, so I found that I, picture, and I was so excited. Fun. Yes. I love the beach. The ocean and the beach is one of my favorite places, so that was so fun to find. Okay, and then... I Let's see, I'll go here. Okay, so this one is so cool. So this is my grandpa, and this is his mom and dad, and they're at the World's okay. Fair in San Francisco. So they're at the World's Fair, and I that just think is that so is so cool. 
cool. Like, if I could go back in time, I would go. To... So we talked about his experience there. Right. They saw all these, like, new. The place. Yeah, the place to be, just to see, like, all the new inventions and everything. So I just love, and they're all. Yeah. I feel like it's the test. Oh, she's. Oh, no, you're good. I was just going to say, I feel like the world. <laughs> no, you're good. I was just going to say that the world fair is a lot like the TED Talks. And. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. That's true. I think it'd be so fun to go. So that was my ancestor, Ella Lorraine. And uh -huh. I found that she graduated from one of the first women's colleges in the late 1800s in uh -huh. Yeah, one of the first women's colleges on the West Coast. I found out she That's graduated. Yeah. Yeah. They're fun. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so fun to like find out we have that in common. So yes, that found and yeah, it's just exciting to hear the stories and see the pictures that can resonate and connect with us. That's awesome, especially since it's the your suffrage, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Awesome. So about cool. I when I went and voted back in like March, I was curious about if any of my female ancestors had gone to that and had tried to get the suffrage and, or passed. And um, it was just interesting to see the difference between those that were back East and those that were in the West and totally. how they interacted differently with all that. So yeah, that's For so cool that you had that wrote about it. Yeah, it was just really cool to hear about that and be like, wow, like they're a part of me. And sometimes I wonder if all the things that I'm so interested in and passionate about come from them. Like, because I really believe like they're a part of us. Like we're, we descend from so many amazing people. Yes. It's so cool. I am so scared that you. So awesome. Yeah. Very cool. I feel like my sound is skipping. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> you're fine. I think it's a bit of a delay. I'm sorry. My Wi-Fi, maybe. Oh, no, you're good. I'm, I'm up in Washington rather than in my home in Idaho. And so it might be on my end, too. So I'm sorry. <laughs> It's a fun. Okay, so you wanted to share some cool stuff about DNA with us, and I'm so excited to hear that. I actually just got my husband's 94-year-old grandpa's DNA tested with Ancestry, and That's so I'm thinking, what's next? <laughs> that, I'm so glad you did that, because it's really important to start with the oldest generation, because you can get more yeah. information that way. That's so good you did that. That's awesome. Yeah, I am so excited about DNA. So I've been on that team for the last couple of years as we've talked cool. about this family searches role within DNA. 
And it's all about education. People are coming to us, asking us for help. Like, what yeah. does it take? Um, what do I do after I get my results? And so we are trying to help within the education space and just oh, answering okay. questions. And so that's been really fun to be a part of that team. And I'm really excited about DNA because... Um, I love seeing how many people are getting excited about family history because of DNA. I think people being interested in family history has just skyrocketed ever since this. Are now interested. So I'll So that's so on our site yeah if you go to familysearch.org forward slash dna you can get okay all questions answered about dna so it talks about what tests are available um sometimes if you are not sure what tests to take it'll give you the different options depending on what you're hoping to accomplish so if you are trying to learn about certain areas or learn certain things about different ancestors there's different types of tests to take oh, okay show everybody oh perfect that'll be fun let's do that so it's family search.org forward slash dna okay okay so here it is so dna testing what it is how you can benefit from it so we have all these new cool videos added that show how other people have benefited from dna and then we have what test options are available and what to do after taking your test and then there's a lot of just common questions that you'll hear and a lot of terminology that people are unfamiliar with. And so we have a whole section just on the terminology that can help you. So we've got what tests to take. So this through the different options. And, and it kind of determines what, um, it really depends on what goals you have for your DNA. Okay. So if you want to learn more about your mother's side, um, a mitochondrial test is helpful to you. So think oh, of like okay. a mitochondrial mom. Um, yeah. That test is helpful to you. Autosomal DNA helps you understand just a broad understanding of your family tree. Okay. And then Y DNA helps you understand your father's side, so patrimonial oh. research. So it's good to know like what you want to learn if you just want more of a broad understanding. Autosomal is really helpful. Okay. There's lots of great options. They each have different features, so it's good to just go through and see what features they have and what would be helpful to you. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's the page there that talks about what's available. And then, if you're not sure what to do when you get the results back, oh, we have this page to help you. So the first thing to do is to create a family tree, whether it's on Family Search or the company you tested with. It's really helpful to have a tree with your DNA to really understand those results. And then again, figure out what your goals are, how you want to use your DNA. So there's a few different ways. So ancestral homelands um, tells you like where you're from, like your ethnicity report is what some people call it. So for example, I'm from Ireland and England and Austria and Germany. So all over Europe and that's fun to see like the percentages of each. And that will help you know where to focus in on your research areas oh. and, and compare that to your family tree. Okay. Um, so really helpful. And then another thing is breaking through brick walls. So I bet all of us have brick walls in our family tree. So right. this links to an article with detailed steps on how to go through that research. 
Sweet. Um, yeah, so you can your family tree and your DNA, and you can break through brick walls. One thing that's helpful, you can kind of hypothesize the relationship that you think exists, and okay. then you can start those descendants to test their DNA and compare it to yours and see how much of a percentage you share of that relationship, and then that helps you figure out if you're or not. Yeah, so that links to a bunch of more how-tos and tips on how to do it. And then it talks about cousin matches. So it's really fun to connect with new relatives. Even if you feel like you already know all your family friends, it's fun to meet new friends. Um, there's, yeah. a video, there's a video on there that talks about someone who met this distant cousin and they joined a family reunion and shared family photos that they have and a really cool, really cool experience. Um, yeah, so that site just goes through some of the basics of terminology, how to's, next steps. So we really hope that helps people find their family through DNA because DNA plus your family and living memories can really find new family in a way that was not 10, 20 years ago. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's really amazing. You're right. We come with this record that is already built into our system, and we don't have to search it out other than taking a test, and that's really cool. It's so cool. We all have this record within us, and just by taking a test, you can learn so much. Yes. And I love how you connected a story to your DNA record was how you have your ancestors and the stuff they were interested in, you have found that you're also interested in, and I love that. I, I think it's so fascinating because I think siblings, siblings of mine may not resonate with the same stories, but I think there all of us have stories from our ancestors and our family tree that resonate with us and connect with us, and we have in common with them. And I think, especially at a time like this, it helps us not feel alone. Like, they're like they get us. I hear their stories and I'm like, they get me. They totally understand like why I have that same love. Oh yeah. Another example. So I found out one of my ancestors was the director of the National Park Service. And I love quote where he talked about how he just loved like this beautiful world so much and he wanted to protect it. And he wanted to make sure like these people were like protected. Yeah. And that's so cool to me. I found mm -hmm. out, like, okay, he gets me. Like, I love going hiking, the ocean, like, just being outside. So yes. there's so many examples of all these cool stories that we have things in common with these people because they're a part of us. Like, we come from them. And yes. it does not feel alone, and it helps us feel like we're part of this greater family. Yeah. Um, something I tell people is no matter what your family situation is, um, if you – I'm single, I don't have my own immediate family, and, but I have a greater family that I have, and yes. I don't feel alone uh, that I connect with. Um, yeah, ancestors and people here, obviously, of course. Yes. Um, yeah, so it's just fun to feel part of that, something bigger than yourself. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. Great. I'm so glad you found that connection, and you've been able to live in it and explore it and find new things that's so exciting that's it's awesome so that's awesome yeah. okay anything else about dna you want to share with us um just to try it i think it's so helpful and exciting yeah i love that i love that um any anything with your job you might want to share with us anything new that might be what? fun that we looking for you. Say that last part again. Sorry. I uh, think that we should be looking forward to that's coming. Anything you should look to. Um, let's see. There's so much going on right now oh, okay. because everyone's from home. Um, all the developers, engineers, software developers, they are so productive right now. Like everyone's working from home, and like things are just going so fast. So much. Um, I'm trying to think if I can give you any sneak peeks of what's coming. Um, we're continually going to be updating these DNA pages with more content, more helpful 
look for new updates there. Um, there were recently, the, some recent updates that you guys may not know about is, okay. there are some search updates. Oh. Let me show you. If you go, I'll just show you. Go to the family blog. We have a what's new section, and it goes over anything new to publish, we put right here. Let me oh, just... awesome. Okay, so if you go to the blog, so it's just familyspeaks.org for that blog. Okay. And then if you go to categories, there's a what's new category. Okay. Let's see here. And I'm using my left hand. Okay. Oh, yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> and it shows you any updates that are coming. So if we launch anything new, you can hear about it here. And this article here goes over a lot of new updates. So there's been some updates to indexing reporting. Um, there's been updates to the whole merge process. They've improved the way that you can merge people now. And this is probably one of the ones I'm more excited about, is there's now new ways that you can print the fan chart. Oh, sweet. So, that's really, so there's ways that you can print it by birth country. So that's really fun. Um, there's a new fan chart view in the mobile app. Yeah. So you have well, lots of fun new all the time. And that's a great place to learn about anything that's coming. Yeah, I was able to show my husband's boss what he could do five minutes before work by just using the app. And he loved it. He loved it. So I'm excited that's to see Covers. So, yeah, love the app. The so, app. Amazing. I love the app. Yeah, I show people when they're new getting started, that's the best way to get started. It's just using the app. It's, it's, it. easy. it's so yeah, yeah, there's so many fun doing there. It's, yeah. Yes. Love awesome. it. So, that's where you go to learn anything new that's coming. Sweet. Yeah. You will go check that out for sure. Okay, anything else you want to share with us? Let's see, we've talked about discoveries today, what's new. Anything, you, any questions that anybody has? I would say, I don't think I've seen any questions. Um, we've had a lot of that it was interesting and cool what you were sharing with us. So thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'm glad we got the technology to work. <laughs> I am, right? Thank goodness. <laughs> you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You have been amazing, and I've learned a lot. So thank you very much. And You're thank so you welcome. for being part of this 21-day experiment. It's been amazing for even just me. So it's so good to hear that it's been working for other people. Yeah. I love hearing the stories and experiences from everybody. It's such a great way to connect right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, heard we're doing it again in October, right? Yeah, I'm so excited. That'll be fun to join again in October. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm excited. It's Family History Month in October, and so we thought it was another perfect time to introduce the 21 Day Experiment again. So that's perfect, and it made me think of Day of the Dead, in October, yeah. and yeah. another great time. Yes, that's I love. It. I I've been doing No Friend for the last few years, and my kids love it. Last year, they started crying when I was taking it down. I felt so oh. bad. <laughs> That's important. It's time for Christmas. <laughs> That's, so That's so cute. Yeah, everyone can create a friend of. That'll be so fun. Yeah, yeah. We love seeing the pictures printed and put it around their house. And it's fun to talk about them as we see them. So, yeah. yeah. I love that. The photo I love the photos. Yes. And those Double photos photo. with us are amazing of your family. I that is such a cool treasure. It was so fun to find them. Yeah, love those photos. I bet. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us, Courtney. You're so welcome. Thank you. We'll talk, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.